it doesn't matter if you're an expert in this hobby or you're a newbie, you need these. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Elix Exotics. My name's Jack and if you like videos on tarantula snakes and more, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Also, check out my Instagram page at Elliot's underscore exotics. Let's get into the video. So today we've got something a little different, a little special I think. We have got ourselves the Pachnoda Marginata. I think that's how you say it. More commonly known as the Sun Beetles. If you don't have any or you don't know what they are, they're so cool, you need to get yourself some. It, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner in the hobby and you've never, you've just seen some videos on YouTube and you never really thought about getting something. But these are so cool, so easy to keep and they're just amazing. You gotta get some. I've just been gifted some of these by my sister's boyfriend and it was just a little starter kit that he's uh, that he got me and I'm, I'm well excited. I've got, I wanna show you guys all of this and how to set it up. So if you're not too sure on what these beetles are that I'm referring to, I'll, I'll show you. So what he's doing at the moment, he's playing dead. But they're so cool, like red and yellows. Look how cool these are. That's so cool. You cannot tell me that they do, that does not look cool. Them ones there that I've just shown you, they're my sister's boyfriend's ones. He's just got me a small starter kit, what he got, and he's built his up, and now he's got something along the lines of 50 beetles of just bred, and just he's got a massive colony, which I'm pretty jealous about. So I wanna show you guys how to make your own. They're so easy to have, they're so easy to keep, um, oh, let's just get into it. So first thing we're going to need is we're going to need the enclosure. I've got myself, this is an older one that I had, but this will do perfectly because they're not going to escape. They'll be perfect in this. I've got the lid. This is an old Komodo one where it just slides off the top. So the first thing we're going to need is the soil. Now they need quite a lot of substrate because what they do is when they're cocoons and larvae, which is what I've got, they bury themselves down. As well as substrate, it's not too high, it's only tight to there, so it's only about an inch at the moment. But what they like to eat is leaf litter. So we've got a box of this grub food. So all it is is just some leaf litter, just to put in there, we'll mix this in. Because as it decays, they will eat it. Mix this in. They also like rotting wood. So we've got some more leaves in there as well. And just for decoration, I'm just gonna go for this piece and just put that there, just in the middle, that'll do. So as you can see, there's not much to this enclosure. It doesn't have to be. I want to build up the colony first and then I'm going to rehouse them again. I wanna show you a little bit more about the life cycle of how these develop. So let's have a little look how many cocoons we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, look. seven. There's a hell of a lot more than I thought there'd be. If there's any larvae at all, you know, we'll see some movement. Right, there's one there. That's a huge one. There's the larvae. It's a big, this one's a big one. So this is gonna be getting ready to cocoon soon. But these will just, as soon as you put them in, they'll bury straight down to the bottom and you'll never see them again. So as I said, now we've got the soil in there. We've got the cocoons, we'll put the cocoons in. So we're just gonna scatter these about. And we'll just put one in that corner, cover it up a bit. 
one in the middle here, I'll cover that up a bit. Couple in the middle here, and there. Here, there's another one in there, I didn't even see that one. There's another big one there. Just scatter these about. And then we'll just pour some more soil out of here. Hopefully we'll see a couple more grubs or the larvae. I've got two in there. So there's one. You can see how quick they go into the soil as well. See how quick they just hide in the soil. And he's gone. <laughs> just like that. And that's when they will turn after they've cocooned. They will turn into these little beetles. But as you can see now, he's a bit more lively now. How cool does that look? You've got to get yourself some of these. To be honest, there's not much more else to show on that. There's, it's just a box of dirt with a log in it. Until they start hatching out the cocoons. That's about it, really. I know it's not an awful lot to look at right now. It's just a box of dirt with a log in it. But I promise you, once everything starts hatching out, starts developing into beetles, it's going to look so good. Um, I'd like to have a big enclosure just full of them because they are so cool. It's, they're a nice interesting beetle, they're a good piece to look at, they're always active and about. Sometimes when they do get a bit nervous they do try and bury themselves. These beetles as well do try and fly, you'll hear them if you get them, but they're not very good at flying. They kind of just make a little buzzing noise and just go anywhere where their wings take them. They usually just go up and down, but they are a fantastic species of beetle. I think everyone should get some, they're so easy to keep and so cool to look at. You can feed them things like banana, they love fruit, banana is really good and sometimes you put the banana in, the larvae will come up, eat some of the banana and drag the banana down. Anyway guys that's the end of the video, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, I'm so happy I've got some of these beetles. Hopefully you guys are thinking about getting some now because it doesn't matter if you're an expert in this hobby or you're brand new to it and you've never had one. If you like the video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Jesus.